All right, here's my review of this Talent Cell 24 amp hour 12 volt lithium battery. You can see the specs there. 2,000 plus cycles at full depth of discharge. So I have a 100 watt solar panel hooked up to this charge controller. Then I have this little adapter hooked up to run my fridge. So this is a cigarette lighter adapter that goes to each post. Uh, and ready to keep my fridge going here. It does not have a temperature control cutoff. I'm happy with it so far because when I'm camping, I'm not going to keep the inside of my van below 32 degrees <laughs> because no one would want to sleep in here if it was. So this guy is being uh, stored behind this seat here. There's a little spot for it. That is very difficult to get to with the camera, but this battery has done its job. Took it camping for about a week, running the uh, fridge off of it. It was plenty warm during the day, bright and sunny. Kept the van warm inside. We didn't uh, drive around, so it wasn't running off the alternator at all. Actually, I wasn't even hooked up to the alternator. Still isn't at this second. Just to the 100 watt solar panel. Kept it nice and charged. Uh, even overnight, my fridge would not show any real battery loss. Now, I'm not going to cut this thing open like some folks on the internet. But as far as I can tell, the build quality is sufficient, especially at the low price. Um, everything about it. Sorry, there's like already dust and things on the bottom of it from camping. Oh, I like the post. The post seems solid. This battery has a voltmeter. Which is nice. I like that it has a little LCD display that I have not even taken the plastic off of. That shows I have dropped off one little battery sliver there on the meter. And if you have a simple setup like me, this could do it. I'm only running the fridge off of it right now. And it really didn't drain much battery overnight. Of course, during the day, it was easily topped off by the solar panel. So if you have a lot of draw, this, you know, one battery is not going to be enough, no doubt. But clearly it's enough to run a 12-volt, 55-quart fridge. And it was very cheap. I only paid $160 on Amazon. So if you compare that to other things by the amp hour or by the watt hour. So 24 amp hours times 12 volts is going to be 288 watt hours. And you can compare that easily to other options, especially the all-in-one uh, quote-unquote solar generators. Uh, 288 watt hours is going to run you a bit more than that typically. And they have their own limitations uh, because everything's internal to the all-in-one system so with this I have it running to my fridge and I could easily hook it into an inverter which is still running off of my house battery on my van that I have not yet taken out or replaced because of time constraints but you could easily hook it into a large much larger inverter than would be supplied in an all-in-one unit so things to consider I'm happy with this guy so far. I know there's much more expensive options out there that um, have low temperature cutoff, things like that. But if you're going to keep this thing inside uh, somewhere where it's not going to be charging in below freezing conditions or you're somewhere warm, typically warm, then this could be a great option for you. Size specifications for it externally are 7.4 by 3.25 by 7.4. So nice and small. A lot of juice for its size, I would say. Best of all, it's super lightweight. It's sitting, so I'm just like picking this up, no problem. So they're saying that it is uh, just over 5.5 pounds. So just under 6 pounds. Very light compared to any form of sealed lead acid battery or AGM or gel batteries. 
super heavy. Pretty much no matter what format you get them in. All right, so the specs listed on here. 2,000 life cycles at 100% depth, depth of discharge, which means you can drain it all the way down 2,000 times and it'll still be great. At 50% depth of discharge, typical, you know, Walmart style or O'Reilly uh, deep cycle battery like I have <laughs> been using in this van uh, previous to this purchase, you know, 50% depth of discharge is the max you're supposed to use uh, and if you go over that, you know, and really drain it out, you're apparently going to damage them. And, um, and you only get, you know, stated 500 cycles at 50% depth of discharge on your typical. All right, so I'm not going to cut this thing open or anything like that to show you the interior cells. But <laughs> I can say that, you know, it feels solid, looks solid, and it works. So for the price point, I am more than pleased. And I just need it to work. On a budget and so far so good